the visual data management is more sometimes than just a pretty picture, but it also allows you to take that information and send it out. So from having to, to without having to be directly inside of Vault to run the report, we can take that data mapping, we can take that, that model that you see there and all of the information that you painted on it, and if you needed a snapshot, if you needed a status update or a report, we can actually send that out directly from with inside of Inventor during the map data. So this might be uh, needed for a project meeting, distribution, uh, any other time where you would need to show all of the data that is in the drawing and you'll need to save it out as an Excel file or a PDF or something that's easily accessed and, and understood by people that might not be part of the engineering or the design team. So another new feature, you know, talking about the integrations, is the revision table integration. For a few releases now, Vault, Workgroup, Collaboration, and Professional have had the ability to take over revision management and add a, uh, add a letter like a, a Rev A, Rev B, Rev C, uh, or numeric, or any other scheme that a customer might use. Take this revision scheme, and we actually tie process around it. We assign a re you know, a released revision is more than just a letter. It actually means something, and it's historical, and we can go back in time. We've extended this inside of the 2012 release to show up as the table on the drawing. This is an, an integration that uh, it, it's so deep that through the hands-on portion, you're actually going to see as you drop the revision table down and you life cycle the component, it appends and adds to the revision table. Benefit is this is one less step that your users have to do to make sure that the drawing matches what's going on inside of the vault. So we, we automate it. We actually have some automation and some uh, buildup of revisions that we can see not only inside of the vault, not only in the title block, but right inside of the revision table. By the way, this works with both Inventor and AutoCAD. 